What is up, everyone? JD here. I hope you're doing well today. Got a mail call for you. Let's get into it. All right, not too much in this mail call going on this week, but I am excited about it. We got a couple of knives coming in via the pass around group and then one knife that I picked up that I will fully explain when we open that package. I did cut this one in to check, cut it open to check it in. So let's jump into these first. We have one that we already checked out here from Vosti, the Acorn, which I am anxious to see the consistency there. And then we have a new one from Real Steel. Let's go ahead and get into the Vosteed first. Yep, this side is open. Your typical Vosteed box and taco, which I really love. Vosteed, you do a fantastic job with this. And I just realized my light's off. All right, so hopefully that lighting helps a little bit there. Uh, you also have your warranty information, stickers, all that good stuff down in here. But let's take a look at the acorn and Vosti warranty paper in here I don't think that's normally in the taco but I'm gonna leave it there because it's coming that way to me so I'm not too worried about it we are looking at the acorn in a green micarta with gold coating here and a black washed blade and titanium pocket clip now I'm gonna immediately say that that black wash is a little on the light side I'd like to have seen it a little bit darker you're getting 14 C 28 in you got a nice liner lock knife and I really do like the acorn a lot because of its size it is a small EDC great for summertime and companion carry but you're able to even with my large hands get a four finger grip on here and it feels very secure I'll do my best at some point along the way up on one of the corners here to link the full review for the acorn that I own so that you can check that out so feel free to check that out uh, we will be right back my apologies there I just wanted to fix a little bit of the saturation on the video it was looking a little rough because of the lighting and the time of day that is here uh, perhaps opening this back up will help a little bit as well it is going to wash me out it looks like so i do apologize for that but anyway let's jump into the um s y l p h i doubt that is the real name but i don't see anything else on here uh model number 7141 bb so i guess that's blue hardware black not sure what this is or how to say that maybe it'll say in here okay we got another slip joint coming from real steel we've had a few of those coming from them does it have the name on here but nitro v steel some of your information the designer um how do you say that uh silif is that how you say that I'm probably messing that up. You got microfiber cloth, a little bit of padding here to protect. Oh, this is very interesting. Uh, did say a slip joint, right? It's got thumb studs. Maybe not. Where did I see slip joint? Did I imagine that? It's a clip point. Very interesting. Nitro V steel. It's not, a, not as heavy as I was expecting it to be. Pretty good action. Uh, nearly centered, favoring the show side a little bit. Got a clamshell uh, stainless steel. I'm guessing it's stainless steel or a clamshell steel inner with a steel onlay. This is very interesting. The detent is good. It's a little small for me. I'm hanging off the back. Comfortable. Not really feeling any transitions. This is going to be an interesting to check, uh, interesting one to check out. Let me move this to the side as well. Put these knives together. And then the last one, we're going to be in that for a little bit. Let me um, put this in here for the time being. Everything is falling over. My apologies, guys. I will jump ahead. All right. The last one that we're going to jump into is going to be a purchase that I made on my own. We're going to be using my Kaiser Militol Purple Haze to get into this one, guys. And this one's coming from Blade HQ, but it has seen some better days. I don't know what they did to this box, but my goodness is it dogged out 
I'm going to open it from this side. I just had to turn the label over. All right, let's see what we got here. Can I get in there? Yep, I can get in there. Using all my grips today. All right, let's see. I should be able to move that to the side for now. Make sure there's no invoices. There is not. Fantastic. Wow, big old box here. And it says what it is on the front. No stickers, huh? Oh, there's the sticker. Nice. I have that one already, so that'll go in the giveaway pile. Not seeing anything else in the box, so let's move that out the way. And we have a knife from Vosteed. So we got two Vosteeds in today. Um, yes, they are killing it that much that we're seeing that much traffic come through here. Lots of packing peanuts residue on the box there. Let's jump in and look at what did I pick up from Vosteed now as I bend the box up. I do love that they have this little container. Um, it does have warranty paper and I think a sticker. No, just warranty paper, no sticker. So just the warranty paperwork. We'll set that box aside for the moment and move some more of the pack, packing peanut residue out of here. So what I decided to do, because I was curious after talking with Austin about this, is I picked up another PSYOP. Somebody's hair is in here. Gross. That's nasty. Actually, that might be glue because it's stretched. Yeah, it might be glue or something that they used to put it together. Yeah, because it kind of stretched out. But I was going to say that's kind of gross. So we got an RE in here along with the microfiber cloth. And we have now, because I have the gunstock version that I have sitting right over there, actually. I'll bring that over here in just a minute. But I was very curious to check out the slightly contoured, smooth version of this knife. And it is warm for being delivered. It literally just got here like 30 minutes ago. It was in the FedEx truck. Uh, action feels very similar. But what I was curious about first ergos oh wow that does feel different wow i didn't think it would be that much of a difference but the button oh really yep that little bit of extra thinness there let me grab this other one out towards where the button is you can see the button is sticking out just a little bit more on the contoured version especially when you open them and I'm going to be very careful here because whichever one I decide to keep, the other is going to be sold. But you have more access just ever so slightly to that button on the contoured one. So it actually makes it easier for me with my large hands to actuate. I don't have to push it in as far. So while we're here, just in case you missed the disassembly of the PSYOP video, I'm going to flip everything over. And we're going to go ahead and reinstall the skiffs. All right, guys. So we got the PSYOP skiffs. I did put them in and then take them right back out. Um, it didn't really need it. But I'm thinking just because of the lock bar access, I want to keep this one. So I actually do want to put these back in. I have my T8. This one has the T10 in it. I kind of keep both now since I have so many with T10s. But it's just these two screws and the... Um, pivot and it comes out and it's a two-piece assembly it's actually quite interesting if you haven't seen this one uh, i believe the if i remember right these are yeah titanium standoffs but it is a steel pivot which i'm actually okay with it being steel for the pivot bolt because i feel like that makes sure that you have good strength here um, when you're assembling disassembly and just in the pivot in general so we'll go ahead. Oops, that is not all the way out, JD. We'll go ahead and take that all the way out. That is a lot of thread locker on that one. I don't remember that much being on the other one, but maybe it was. And then inside, you can see the screw, um, the screws for the pocket clip here, and then your weight relief there behind the liner itself. And this is very interesting. It's a two-piece construction. What I have learned having disassembled these plenty of times is it is a tot 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 tolerances tight tolerances that you just got to kind of work back and forth to take it off there we go 
it eventually came out. I will have jumped ahead a little bit there because I was wiggling for a while, but I just needed to fish it around. Um, I think this one here has a little bit more going on with it. Now to get this one has um, they're using like a like a lubricant type of like a gel type lubricant on this one, and it really doesn't need it. And it is six millimeter one sixteenth ball, just so that. When you check that, you'll know what it is that's on there. But I don't like the gel lubricant because if you look really closely in there, you'll see on this particular one, it's kind of gummed up and it gets caked in there. And I think that really just affects the performance of the, the blade and the lube, the knife itself. The action kind of gets pulled down. So I personally just prefer using the hops. You know, whatever lube that you really like here would be what I would recommend that you use on this particular mo model. Um, so let me go ahead and clean off all the caked on lube. I'm going to go ahead and just clean these bearings for storage. I don't know if I'll be able to get down in here very good. Oh my gosh, it's so caked on, I can't even roll them. It's just like, it's caked in this one spot, and I can't... Okay, I think I got most of it out. And clean that up for storage. It hasn't tracked very much, so we should be good to go there as well. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can finagle this last piece off. Yeah, that way I can go ahead and just clean the detent ball and the lock bar interface and it will make it a little bit easier to get to the pivot side and clean that as well. Go ahead and move it. I'm just going to remove it. Um, it is captive on this side. And again, I think I covered all this in that video for the full disassembly. And I honestly, I would recommend watching that instead. Very nice pivot, very captive. Everything should be dry now, but you can see the D shape here and which direction it goes into. So I'm just going to go ahead while I have it off and use my hops, which is like chomping at the bits, good grief, to come out there. It needs a little bit more, actually. So we'll install that. Sorry, I had it off screen to lube it. Oop. A little tight again it is tight tolerances so keep that in mind going ahead and again six millimeter 116 13 ball count um, I love these bearings skiff bearings are just they're so f stinking smooth um, and again they help make sure that that pivot is nice and solid I don't directly apply anymore I used to in the back in the day but now I'm just kind of getting it out on the fingertip and then working it in so there's not a ton of excess oil dropping that on you know what I did forget to do I totally forgot to grab a q-tip circuit board cleaner and clean out the uh, detent ball hole I usually take care of this just to make sure like again any dirt and debris that's in there I'm cleaning it out to the best of my abilities. Make sure that it's nice and clean. And then we'll go ahead and drop this back on. Hit to the stop pin. I'll wipe that off. And then just a drop right there. It doesn't need a lot. A little goes a long way. I know I cleaned it already, guys. But you know me. My OCD is kicking in. All right, so that should be all the way down and in. It looks good. And then now I need some more lube for the other one. And again, I just do this because I just want to roll a very fine coat onto the bearings. I don't really need it to be caked on there because all it's going to do is kind of bleed and leak out of the pivot and kind of be messy and fling everywhere when you flick it open the first few times. Uh, so this method for me, I feel like really works better. And wow, that just snapped into place. Yeah, I think it just it snapped into place and put my finger there to make sure. 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that looks flush and smooth. Wow, that went back together very nicely. All right, yep, all back together. Gonna go ahead and drop the pivot bolt in first. Got my T8. Okay, just went a little tight on it. And then I'm going to drop that in and just trying to catch it a little bit. And again, I'm just doing that because I don't want it to scratch the titanium. And let's see here. All right, so now the gap is gone there. I know that's in there good. I really like the finish on these scales too. I like Oops, I like them a ton. All right, so that's not going in as I had hoped. So I'm just going to use the finger and the tip of the driver to go ahead and get that going. And then same thing. And that's why I recommend the Wee Hobbits too, because, you know, they're very well made. They have a good heat treat on them. We are centered. No side to side play, no up and down play. Feels good. I'll keep an eye on that, but let me clean this up and we'll wrap up this unboxing. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up this week's unboxing. What's new in this week? We got another Vosteed Acorn to check out. We got the Real Steel Slife. I'm going to say the Slife and hope that that's right. Maybe one of you guys can correct me on that one. That's a weird way to spell it. And then the contoured version of the Vosteed psyop which if i'm being totally honest at this point um because it's so much easier to actuate it i think this is going to be the one that i end up keeping and i really like the ergos a little bit better than i do the flat scale so i'm going to go ahead and call it that this is going to be my keeper and i will go ahead and list the other version of the psyop that i have out there on blade bench it'll probably be gone by the time this gets posted because i'm going to probably put that out there tonight um but be on the lookout for it i usually give a pretty heavy discount you know they're normally 250 i'll probably just ask 200 for it something like that um it's a great model i really like it either way you, you know if you have the smaller hands i think you'd be okay with it you know slightly smaller than me anyway like large, medium to large um but if you have the oversized hands i think this is the way to go i really love that finish uh thank you for hanging out with me until this point if you enjoyed on your way out hit that like if you're not subscribed consider subscribing i'd love to have you follow along on the channel special thank you to those channel members out there i really appreciate that extra layer of support that you do provide i love you guys i hope you have a fantastic week and i'll catch you all on the next one peace